This is my first time in a real bar. You know, I bought a, I bought my idea off a kid at Kai-Fi. It was supposed to be $60, but I told him I was pledging. Got it for $45. Pretty sweet, huh? What's the keys up? Talking awful lot, son. Can I take it to go to the uh, URI up the street there? Yeah, yeah, I'm a freshman there. You happy there? I'm a freshman. I have no major. My classes, they're easy. I drink all day. The girls in my hallway are so, they're just hot. Of course I'm happy there. So was I. So was I. You went there too? Am I gonna end up like you, alone in a bar drinking and smelling like a horse's ass? No, no, I, I used to be president of the university. That was a long time ago. No way! Did you know that, uh, that jerk that tried to make you URI a dry campus back in the mid-90s? No, Jesus, What a killjoy. So wait, wait, let's see if I get this straight. You were president, and you, uh, ditched it for the whole, the whole cowboy thing? I didn't ditch nothing. They booted me out. You got booted out? My buddy, he cheated on his his ethics exam, and he didn't even get booted out. What did you do? You want to hear an old man's story, son? Well, uh, it's Saturday, and um, I'm Jewish, so I probably shouldn't drink. Maybe I should have laid off the sauce that night too, especially that hot August night in 1996, and I was going out man, to the man, cinema. Man, I know, man. I I, I I don't want to hear your story. I, I probably should be going now. You will sit and listen to the old man's story, or I will tell the bartender that you're 17 and humping his wife. Now, where was I? It was a hot August night in 1996 when I was humping the sun. That day I was especially excited to see because I set aside a little Bobby C time to go see the Root 2 Tootin comedy sequel, Sea Slickers 2 The Legend of Curly's Gold, with Billy Crystal for my third time. Much to my dismay, the film was sold out, and my disappointment, I hastily decided to go see the Michael Crichton gorilla epic, Congo. I had no idea what was about to hit me. It was then when it all became perfectly clear. I could use the university's animal studies department to obtain a gorilla, teach it how to speak, and then coax the gorilla to leading me to the monkey diamond paradise depicted in the film. I pawned off the idea to some of my most trusted colleagues. Much to my disappointment, however, none of them had the um, moxie needed for this important project. No matter how I presented it to my colleagues, they all seemed disinterested and scared. I was ready to leap into action while others lied dead on the floor.
I knew if I wanted results, there was only one place I could go. Alright, kitty. Bark. Bark? Bark? Yes, bark. 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 I think you should bark. 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 Let's try negative reinforcement. If I knew you were coming, I would have prepared pastries. You made a spence with the pleasantries, Doctor. I come in business. I need your man. For a project I'm starting on. On gorillas. So gorillas are your game, huh? We're gonna need a lot of bread to score a gorilla. A few hefty grants, if you know what I mean. Do you think you have what it takes? I'll get you your grants, Doctor. Rexes and snakes and little crickets everywhere! Now listen to me. To the jeeps! We must get your furry little monkey friend. This is as good a place as any for base camp. No, no, men. Ignore that Virontosaurus Rex and that Triceratops. Carruthers said just to get that gorilla. I've, uh, no I've never actually left the lab. This working stuff is really hard. Yeah, well, even though I've wrestled the meanest grizzly bears and t rainy sowers rexes and little tiny snakes and teddy bears, it sure does get hot out here. I think I should have worn my short shorts. Look, there he is. There's that gorilla. Let's get him. Beast, you secure, right? Yes, we keep him locked in a, uh, in a room labeled boiler room in a, uh, in a locked cage. It's very good, it's very good. So, uh, Mr. President, what is your game anyway? <laughs> I haven't gotten asked in a great while, but I would think the last time was probably. No, 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 no. What's your, uh, what's your game with the gorilla? Let me put it this way, Cyrus. You're on a need-to-know basis, and I simply don't like you. <laughs> Only one of the prisons is gonna know my true plan, my niece, Sally Smith. How are you doing, kid? Very well. Um, I heard the gorilla arrived today. Yes, you did. Oh, you see, it was up. It was exactly 0.6 days ago. Excellent. I must see him. Continue. Well, as you can see, he's he slept most of the day. He, uh, we think he might be a little homesick, but we did take the liberty of disinfecting him from any possible jungle viruses. Um, we were... I'm putting a shrubbery in his in his cage to make the transition from jungle to the cage that much easier on the little fellow. Oh, oh, good idea, good idea. We want this whole transition to be as easy as possible on little diamond here. 
little diamonds? Oh, just a name that I thought up for, for the monkey. Just, just don't ask me what it means. The grill will have no name. We cannot become attached to it. We'll probably just end up killing it. Sally, so, I don't think it's really necessary to kill it. Trust me, we will be killing it. And don't add any plant life to his cage either. He must know he's being tested on. Now I'm going to ask you men to leave. I need some time alone with the gorilla. Ah, uh, finally. I have you. I will teach you to speak. My uncle might have his precious gorilla on his dry campus. But I will get my doctorate, and when I do, I'll be the first female doctor in history with diabetes to teach a gorilla to speak. And with that fame, anything is possible. Anything. How's it going, young miss? So you got a drink there. I dig. I dig. Uh, so tell me, what's your name? Uh, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I, I look pretty old, but... I don't consider myself old, more of very, very experienced. Uh, one thing I must know about you, are you a fan of the, uh, oh, oh, gorilla story? Where was I? Oh yeah, Sally was back at the lab, working relentlessly, of course. Meanwhile, back at the lab, research went on. Sally worked incessantly. Sometimes she came in on Saturdays. about this gorilla, huh? How dare you speak that way to me? You know I can have you fired. Have it your way. Whatever. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna get a Pepsi one. Just wake up. Do anything? No, I'm all set. Jove, Sally, you're looking rather fetching today. What do you say we play a little hide the banana? You spoke. I did. I taught you to speak. About that, Sally, yes, you did teach me how to speak, but unfortunately this is only a dream. That's it. I quit. Put him in the cage. Stupid, stupid animal! I'm the animal called the glue factory! <laughs> the glue factory that makes glue out of gorillas! No, 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 no,
Thank you.